I've done a lot of digging. I still have a lot of digging to go. And for a job this big, you need the right tools. And this is the source of my trouble. You see, I have a system when I'm digging. A lot that uh, helps to pass the time. And that's to watch anime on one screen. While I put half of my attention onto digging out large areas on another screen. Uh, now, you know, it doesn't work for precision work, but, you know, for this large grunt work of removing a large amount of blocks, it works pretty well. But, uh, as one might imagine, uh, it's hard to read subtitles and, uh, pay attention to the durability of your picks. So, there's been a, quite a few instances of me breaking my fully enchanted picks uh, while in the middle of watching uh, some various animes. And the thing is, right now I'm down to two picks uh, in my inventory, and I don't particularly like that. Because you have to stop to use the Guardian Farm to mend those picks on a regular basis. So today, I'm going to get a collection of enchanted picks so I'll have an arsenal of tools for my mining needs. These villagers don't seem to be mine being locked up in a one by one cell. When it comes to their goods, they are particular about getting emeralds. We'll need emeralds in order to get the enchanted books that we desire. I'm at the gold farm for this purpose today. Though I have a second intention, trading zombie flesh can get you some decent emeralds, but the real prize is gold. You see, digging crater goes a lot faster with a haste 2 beacon, and constantly moving the beacons is a pain. But what I'm going to do is try and set up beacon pyramids all around the crater. That way I don't have to move them to a new spot, I just have to move the beacon. It's pretty cool to see this farm in action. Piglin zombies spawn on these magma blocks. And they're lured in by this turtle shell in the center. Before they get to it, they'll go into the portal where they'll fall and die. This farm produces, as you can see from the rates, this farm produces a lot of nuggets in an hour. This is the worst part of using the farm. There's so many items to deal with that it becomes a a really chore to get all this turned in, turned into gold blocks, gold bars, then turned into gold blocks. Thankfully, I have brought some shulker boxes to help me deal with this task. Then we'll move all the flesh over and sell them to the vendors for emeralds. Moving all the zombie flesh over to the vendors is slow work, but the speed of the farm more than makes up for it. Now that we have the emeralds, it's time to get the books. I'm at the old spawn library to pick up the books I need. I'll need efficiency 5, I'm breaking 3, and mending at the very least. Silk touch is nice too, because uh, so you can do a lot more with stone than you can do with cobblestone. We have a big problem. These emeralds that I collected from the zombie flesh weren't enough. After all that trading, I still don't have enough emeralds to get it done. Now there's only one thing to do. AFK at another farm. The Hoglet farm is one of the first farms built on the nether roof and has been a great source of emeralds and food since the start of the world. Pork chops are a great food source and you can sell the leather and vendor you can sell all the pork chops and leather to vendors on top of the, the roof. Thanks to those last emeralds, we have everything we needed to enchant the picks. Now my arsenal is complete. And I'm ready to dig this crater while catching up on some anime. Maybe I'll binge Oshi no Ko. I hope nothing bad happens to that idol girl in it. 